Hello drivers, this week marks the release of Watch Dogs Legion and I wanted to talk about the similarity that this game is once more sharing with the driver series, more especially with Driver San Francisco, the last driver game and the only one made with Ubisoft as a publisher. While it could be seen as an easy guess, we are not going to talk about driving or handling since it appears from reviews but also from gameplay videos that it was once more overlooked by the team at Ubisoft Toronto in favor to the on-foot activities, which were not featured in Driver San Francisco. So, where else can we see a similar stuff then? Let me explain by first describing you the setting of Watch Dogs Legion. Set in a futuristic London after a terrorist attack, you are part of the resistance and you must recruit new people in DedSec to take down Albion, a private military company that takes over as law enforcement across London. That's exactly where the innovative new feature in the Watch Dogs series at least takes place. Play as anyone. Indeed, you are not only recruiting new people, you can also play with them and benefit from their unique abilities and perks to get a distinctive experience from other players, depending on the people you recruit. So, how is that linked to Driver San Francisco? Simply by the fact that Driver San Francisco began with that very same motto in mind, play as anyone. At the early stage of development, there were no Tanner or any lead character, but the shift mechanic was already planned. The idea was still to move from car to car using shift to avoid on foot and focus on vehicle only actions, while still allowing players to change cars without any loading or going back to the menu. Each citizen you encounter by shifting in their cars will have a small story and a mission to do, similar to the final game in that matter when Tanner shifts in a car and reacts to the situation but with another layer of insight. So what happened to this original concept? While in development they came to the conclusion that while play as anyone opens a lot of interesting plots and gameplay diversity, it also has its flaws, the strength of the narrative structure. Without something to link all the little stories and interactions between the citizens, you don't get a bigger story which could involve the player in the game's missions. Just imagine Driver San Francisco, but all you can do are the city missions from the final game. While they offer some good gameplay possibilities and some of them even have follow-up missions and a little continuity in the motivations of the citizens you are playing with, they also lack a bigger meaning and connections between all of them to not bore the player after a few hours. This game structure will simply not give me enough goals to make me play it a lot. It would also make the game feels like a racing game more than a driving game with a story mode. The one thing that differentiates Driver from Burnout Paradise or any urban open world game featuring only cars for that matter. In the meantime, Ubisoft was running surveys to check if Driver was still strong enough as a brand to assure them they weren't making a mistake by doing a new game in the series. They were really surprised by the very good results of the brand recognition and even more by the strong appeal of the audience to the character of John Tanner, even though the last game of the franchise at the time, Driver Paradise Lines, didn't feature him at all. It was at this point that his return in the game was decided because the designers realized that Driver San Francisco needed a lead character to boost the narrative structure and John Tanner was still well beloved. They still had to justify how a lead character could change from cars to cars with the shift mechanics and that's how the coma came up within the usual cops story. Watch Dogs Legion doesn't suffer from the exact same issue because unlike Driver San Francisco, the shift wasn't planned to be used so they don't have to justify swapping characters on the get-go, nor do they need a main character to connect everybody's motivations into a greater meaning. In that case, the game stories is entirely put around the liberation of London from the oppression, so being a small part of the plan is working. Furthermore, controlling the character on foot allows them to add a lot of perks and abilities, so little things that differentiate the citizen. 
something that could not have been done with the vehicle-only limitation of Driver San Francisco. Still, you may be lacking the depth of a main character and the player's implications in the story that comes with it. That's why the news they gave about the post-launch content is interesting, although contradictory to the prospect of Legion. Aiden Pierce will be added to the game with his own sets of missions. But more than that, they are reworking the main campaign so it can be playable from start to finish by playing only Aiden Pierce like a traditional Watch Dogs game. It appears they did the exact same rethinking that Reflections did during Driver San Francisco development and brought back a beloved character from the series to use it as a main character in the hopes of strengthening the narrative structure. This week, Ubisoft Toronto held a stream with various developers talking about the feature of Legion, including the Play as Anyone, and you can appreciate how much work they put to make that feature as living as possible by giving it the most content they could. Sadly, I've heard no reference to Driver, although the inspiration and similarities are quite evident. At least with the prototype of Driver San Francisco, which Leftover can still be seen at the end of the E3 2010 reveal, and the coming back of a main character in Legion later this year. So, do you think they use Driver San Francisco as a reference as well? You can also tell me in the comments your thoughts about Watch Dogs Legion if you have played it. While I'm thanking my Dread Rivers for their support, let me show you the pop thing I made with the Reflection logo on it for Halloween. Uh, thanks to DriverDimension.com, French Contact, Neuroscience, Tank Online YouTube, Emmett McLaughlin and Paul Lanois for their grateful support. If you want to support me as well, click on the join button below the video to join the channel. And of course, I will see you soon, drivers, with more videos, so stay tuned.